friends, Dr. Allie here with Good Timer. Let's talk about tattletales, okay? So um, if you're like me, your kids at times will tattle on each other, on a friend, what have you. And it's always, for me at least, a little bit like, what am I supposed to do with that now? I'm supposed to act, but also I don't want you to come to me with every single problem or rule violation. Like, what are you, the hall monitor? Okay, so... Um, the first thing to recognize is kids tattle when they notice, let's say, a sibling breaking a house rule, and they want that sibling to have to face the consequences because you have set these rules clearly and your expectations are known and they're like, yo, ma, look what this guy did. Like, do the thing you said you were going to do, right? Because that's comforting to them, to them to know that you will follow through. Um, they want that consistency. They want that predictability. And... Um, also try to remember that developmentally, uh, it's really appropriate to tattle because um, when kids are tattling, they're sort of in that intermediate step between direct physical aggression, you know, like your sibling broke a rule and you're like, hey, don't do that. And this is important to remember because young kids, they want to solve their own problems, but they have no problem solving skills, right? And it's our job to teach them these problem solving skills so that eventually they can resolve these conflicts without having to come tell us that they need help resolving these conflicts. Um, tell them what to do, not what not to do, right? So saying don't tattle isn't super effective, although I can understand the instinct. Um, you want to teach them these are more ways to be problem solvers, okay? Identify the problem, think about solutions, think about how the solutions will impact themselves and other people and try one of the solutions, okay? This is something that you can certainly and should certainly do with them the first couple of times. And then when they start to try to problem solve on their own or when they can memorize what the next step in the process is, and be sure you're using positive reinforcement, verbal, physical, or via your good timer to say, hey, I see you in your best moments too. Um, and now they have confidence to keep trying to resolve their own issues.